What's up traders? Um, so I'm back. Just wanted to kind of run through um, what we're going to be looking at this week and kind of get a, a good understanding of what we're going to tag. Okay, we did have a bounce up off of this line. It's absolutely beautiful how that happened. This is huge, man. Look at that move. Not really a pullback here, not really a pullback here, so not a whole bunch of room to uh, actually get in it outside of the uh, origination point here. So that's super interesting to look at. Of course, I'm gonna look at that. You guys kind of know my pattern now, USD. I, I love you looking at the USD pairs and paying attention to them. Um, it's just something, it's a preference, you know? Let me see here. If we have anything coming up on this, I'll leave those. That one is marked. Marked in 10% here. Pulled up. We went down. Yeah. So we're out on this. And that was an 11% move. Huge. Absolutely huge. Um, looks like we want to go up from here. We're pretty extended, pretty much overextended. Uh, so yeah, I can see that maybe happen. Sorry about that. All right, I'm give you guys motion sickness with all this scrolling. Uh. I don't know. It feels like it's stalling. I don't know if it's due for a pullback just yet. I can watch that a little bit longer. NZD USD definitely looks like it's wanting to roll over. It already did here. We're going to be coming up on the 50 MA for the four hour chart. So that could be a huge breakthrough level. Um, Yeah, we're sitting sitting at a pretty interesting level there. Uh, pretty interesting level here. Definitely want to watch this one. So I've been kind of watching this one, tracking this one all the way up, and just kind of trying to see if it's going to react um, at this level and drop down because it's been trending upwards for a while. Yeah, in about two weeks. So definitely want to watch that one. I think this one's going to be probably the most important uh, out of the NZD pairs that I'll be watching. NZD CHF. Super indecisive. Well, oh, sideways, sideways. There you go. Maybe you see it drop down. Hmm. Like all the NGD pairs. Apparently. Um, NGD CAD. I'm done with this one. So this is a pair that. I was wanting to kind of be the poster child the for a, a pyramid play, but we went sideways. It just didn't work out. So, and we actually would have got stopped out. There's, there's nothing to trade here, in my opinion. Interesting, we got out. We kind of went sideways here. Um, right off of this key level, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna watch that. 
definitely like the GBP pairs right now. Um, I've got some running profit in each of them. Um, well, besides GBP USD, obviously. So we're still running here. I'm probably out because we just broke that 50. This is gonna be it. This is where I wanna really pay attention. Try to see what happens. Yeah, that's super interesting. I'm not out yet, but yeah. We lost on both of these. 11% locked in here, and then we lost on these 2%. This is fun. I'm not sure. I'm not sure on this one. Um, exactly what's going to happen. Let's go down and find it. All kinds of notifications. Okay. GPP, JPY. Eh. I don't know. I don't know on that one. I think that we're going to stop. Um, yeah, GBP, JPY, it, it seems like we dropped down 11% um, and then we had, I was trying to, you know, play this pullback and kind of got my lunch ate. That's kind of one of the dangers of playing these quick little moves is uh, your timing's got to just be on point. And even though I was right, there was, you know, Somewhat right, I'll say, right? I knew it was gonna trend down like this, but my profit target was off, offline. So I think that's what happened here. I'm gonna lie to you. Yeah, I just got pushed out right here. On both of them. So I'm out here and then I ended up taking this and yeah. So break even out 1%. So, anyways, maybe I'll watch that just just so I can become a student of just GBP pair. Um, yeah, that could be interesting because I can always exit it later or uh, remove it later. So I think I'm going to do that actually since it's Monday and today is the day to do these types of things. Uh, GBP CAD. So this, I've played this one like a fiddle. Um, stayed in this channel it's just stayed in this channel it's it's been really good about that um pretty predictable uh we got this one hour thing coming up but i don't know if we went down far enough yet um i'm gonna look for hesitation and then continue downwards depending on how bad the hesitation is and see how it acts right here on the 50 ma so if you'll remember, it's not just C GBP CAD. There's also a, I think it was this one, or somebody else that I was looking at. Uh, NZD, it seems to be. Yeah, NZD. I'm trying to see how it's going to react here on the 50. Um, what it's really going to do. Actually, it's on four hour here. So 200 EMA. I really want to see if it's going to pick a direction. Um, I'm not sure. On CAD, same thing. I'm not sure what direction we're going to pick. So this could be interesting. I'm going to keep those. Um, keep those close, close proximity. Because it could be super interesting to see what happens next. Um, I'm not 100% sure about G GBP AUD. What direction it wants to go. all these GBP pairs actually super sideways on the euro I'm not trading that I'm not 
I'm trading on it because I don't know. I don't know the direction. This is beautiful. It's been trending upward like clockwork. Very easy to spot. I will watch that one this month or this week. Uh, GBP, Euro GBP. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I might have picked here. Um, yeah, so we're breaking even right now. I guess I really thought this was going to climb upwards. He's got some sideways vibes here. I'm not sure. Um, could climb up. We'll watch it. I remember when I placed this one, it was based on this little pullback situation. And uh, I was right uh, to have gotten in right here. Was, that's not a bad play. Yeah, bleed a lot right here. Almost all the way to a point of getting stopped out. But uh, this is a good good example of a real real entry, you know, real time entry. Um, I love this play. This is crazy good. 2.7 What's today? The fourth. how that one's going to play. Euro CAD. Uh, looks like I'm still running this one. Dude, I can't wait to actually start trading real money soon. Because I've been picking some freaking excellent spots. This is an entry for sure. We're in. And I usually won't do this, but this is a live entry and I'm going to mark it like this. So we know the difference. Hold me accountable for this. The end right there. No ifs, ands, or buts. It's just such a beautiful pattern, man. And now I gotta just kind of pick my spot and understand where we stop. It's probably gonna be like right in here. Put it right here just to be. Nah, screw that. Put it right here get out right in here somewhere before we even reach that but yeah i'm aiming down we're going down damn that shit's crazy wow okay one seven and then i like to extend mine like this uh just a preference thing So one of the tricks I like to do in order to zoom out and really see where I'm going is I'll just change the time frame and then I can manipulate this a little bit better. Um, we'll pretend like both of these are going to go all the way down here. So we can really get a good look at what the damage looks like. So we're, we're talking about an 8% uh, move overall here is absolutely insane man but it's doable whenever you can see these things and you're trading a strategy and you're not chasing after anything this trade just came to us and it's going to look a lot like that i'm expecting so um 
then as soon as it doesn't or it turns around on us, we either get out or we wait until it gets close to that profit target that we just uh, laid out. So. Yeah, we're bouncing off on the higher time frame, on the weekly time frame. Huge downward candle last month. It's been one, two, three days in a row since we bounced off of here. So we were kind of stagnating and then we dropped pretty significantly. So, yeah, I feel really good about this, um, about this situation. I think we're going to drop down. I think I'm going to make... That's going to be a really strong trade, okay? Euro AUD, um, make sure that I watch that one. Euro AUD, they're kind of being held by this 50 EMA. You see that red line? Okay, let's see what the daily is doing. Mm, seems to be pulling back. We'll see how it reacts here. Four hour chart. CHFJPY. Um, daily's kind of sideways. Weekly sideways. Yeah, I don't know. I can't call this one. I'm not going to watch that one. Because I have no idea what's about to happen there. Uh, this looks like we might have a reaction at that key level. We're looking for this to roll over. Okay, yeah, we'll watch that one. CADCHF seems to be kind of at the same situation. Um, Yeah, I need to make this brighter so we can actually see that one. But we're reacting to a key level again. It's pretty interesting. Not a big, huge move or anything, but a quick pullback probably. That's kind of how I would want to play this. I don't, I don't think that this is going to be like a home run, but it could be just like a quick right here, maybe in here. Even though that seems quick, it's not. It's a pretty good move because we're on a daily chart right now. That's going to be interesting. I'll watch that one. AUD. AUD looks like it is definitely dropping down. So there's a big reaction here on Friday. And then today we're just riding it back down. Maybe we come back to baseline. Um... Almost there. I think we're late on this one. I'll watch it for tomorrow. So remember on Monday, I'm just kind of going through and seeing what looks like we should be paying attention to it, you know? Um, that's really it. This is not really. Uh, we're super sideways on this one, man. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. AUDJPY trending upward. Um, like real smooth. We broke this area, so yeah, I want to watch that. EDCHF looks like it's at an interesting point where it wants to turn around. This might be a quick pullback type of play. AUD, uh, CAD, we're on the bottom of a range, so I'm looking for that to go up.
Interesting. We'll watch it. I'll keep it on the list. And the Dow Jones is up right now. Several weeks in a row. For the week, there's a weekly chart. So, yeah, we've had a couple of rough days in here. Anyways, alright, that's it. One long video this time. Um, just kind of wanted to touch on everything, so we did. And uh, we'll go in depth uh, as the week progresses. Y'all know how I do. Um, GBP, I think, no, no, no. Is it EuroCID? Yeah, here we go. Live entry here. Pay attention to this. This is super interesting. Uh, I'm going to watch this, try to see if I was right on that. And if I should ever do a live entry ever again. Um, Y'all know how I feel about live entries, but this is such a fat play. It's it's one of those where if you're not in that, you're tripping. So, I'm in it. Uh, my stop needs to be like right here though. So, I go adjust that. But anyways, yeah. Almost 8% running profit if we hit our targets here. Anyways, alright guys, uh, catch y'all soon. Peace.